Morning. How you doing? Or evening, wherever you're at. It's Bob here with Odin's Lock. And uh got Gus out here with me. He's letting me pet him more lately. Uh we're working out in the step in uh I call it Roscoe, but whatever. Anyways, uh I've run into something today. And it, it happens occasionally, you know. Uh I don't know what I was thinking or doing. I had some locks that I had to do. And uh, somehow, some bunch of them was key to like, so I would take them and re key them as uh, needed. And these were for aluminum style doors. And so the lock he had, I tried to re key it. And I could have got it, you know, uh, I had all the stuff to do it. It just it turned out to be kind of a, excuse me here. As I was trying to repin it, it wasn't jiving with uh, the cuts. I had a pre-cut key I was using, and it wasn't one of these. But uh, I had a pre-cut I was using, and uh, everything was working. I was putting the correct pins in, but it wasn't lining up. So I played around, and I figured out the key wave was uh, worn, which that happens, and especially when you put them into one of these little cradles that you uh, use to do your uh, height. Uh, like if you want to use depth and space keys. And so, anyways, I got that all figured out. Got it all worked out. And uh, then I thought, well, I'll go ahead and redo some of these uh, locks that uh, don't have keys for them. And so these are brand new. Somehow, they, when I bought them, there's a key to lock. I didn't say to key them differently. I don't know why. Or maybe I got them from uh, some of the locksmiths uh, in a state cell or something. I don't exactly know what happened. But uh, anyways, I have two left that were schlag, and so I uh, thought I'd go ahead and use step and space keys. Uh, yeah, I just pulled it out, went ahead and started going through it, started trying to cycle through. And if you know how these work, you know, you go through your number one to, to number nine. Uh, and so as I was getting through, the, the number two was one of them that I got to. Let me find it right here. And so I got to number two. And how these are is, uh, it's hard to do this and hold the phone at the same time. So I got the number two. And so, you look on there, number three should be number two. And it's looks pretty uh, close, you know, right there. Work, looked fine. Uh, I had four uh, for the next one. Let me see here. There's a number four. Let's grab these here. And so anyways, uh, long story short, I'm going through all these. Uh, I love I just dropped the pin. But, and so that would be number four. That would be four. They look like they was kind of low. But sometimes he doesn't face keys. I bought these. I should have made them myself. You know, the lesson learned. I'm going to go ahead and cut some and just do them right at the very top of the... I'm sorry. I'm trying to put that pin back. <laughs> anyways, long story short of it, this number four. See, number one and number five should be uh, four. It lines up there, if I can keep my fingers out of my way. Kind of low. I was kind of iffy. I thought, well, I'll, I'll waste the key. So I did them all, went through that, and it was 48264. Cut the key. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Put it in there. And, I mean, they look good, but they're all low. So, uh, actually, that's not the right one I did. That one's perfect, but... So they all look low, and so I thought, well, shoot, you know, made my cutters off. I checked uh, with everything else; it's perfect. So four eight two six four, obviously not right. They're all one off. I thought, well, okay. So I thought, you know, I'll go ahead and do another key. Then I thought, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste more of my key blanks. You know, some of them look like they're a little bit more than one off. And so I went ahead and dumped the pins, you know, like you normally do. And uh, so I dump them there, there. And I mic'd them. I don't know if I'm going to do this with one hand. But uh, say like the four. Let's see if I can do this. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. They didn't jive right with uh, my dimensions. And so, uh, you know, it, sometimes the brains are like that. Yeah, it's hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> Anyways. 
Uh, as you can see, it gets down in there. So, 195. That works for that. Anyways, long story short of it is, I wound up having to redo this, and it turned out that the actual cuts was 27152. Uh, and that much difference. That's what death and space keys. And, uh, you know, so basically, you know, they, death and space keys, you can buy them online. Uh, you know, you can uh, try to do that and then uh, hope you get lucky with them. You know, they are all over the place as far as the uh, dimensions. Let me find the other one I had. And so when you get the right one, you just seen the right one a minute ago. It, it works perfect, you know. But sometimes you just got to mic these because, uh, I mean, even with death and space keys, as you're doing them, you know, and you're going one at a time, they, they look correct. But then, you know, when you cut the key, they're pretty far off. You've seen what it turned out to be. I mean, that's quite a bit. Two there, one there, one there, one there, and two there. So maybe my uh, number four or two uh, Death and Space keys are, are uh, messed up. But I bought those. I just I bought a whole assortment of them. And I've had this a couple of times, even with quick set. And usually you can look at a key and you can kind of figure out what it's supposed to be but, uh, anyways just uh like i said i mean the whole point with this little uh tip was you know sometimes you guys can get down to mic these and as i was micing them they uh, still wasn't jiving right so let me see i don't really I don't know if i can do this so like that one there should be the eight and the seven let me see here. I'm sorry I'm out of camera. I'm going to try to set that up. And so, that there, that's 272. As you can see, my calipers, that is closer to a 7, but that number 7 is a 270. Granted, there are a little, you know, give and take tolerances, you know, uh, but that's what you run into. Some of these were almost 3 thousandths off the pins. And so that also goes back, you know, this whole lesson, not just death and space keys, but making sure you got the good pin kits. My pin kit's accurate, but this, uh, these pins came with the locks, GMS. And I'm not saying that GMS is bad. I'm just saying sometimes, you know, you just got to get down and, and get out the calipers and start measuring stuff. And there is a, a little flex, you know, uh, flexibility in some of these. And I don't know what the tolerances are. When you look at the slag, uh, you know, it doesn't really say what the tolerance is. I do have a book that does probably give you that, you know, uh, capability. But, I mean... <laughs> two, three, four thousandths, uh, you know... It'll mess you up. If it's too high, it definitely will mess you up. If it's too low, it'll work. Uh, you know, uh, it may not work. Uh, uh, it just, uh, you know, if you wiggle the key, and I hate that. I, I absolutely hate having a lock that you got to wiggle a key in to make it work right. And, and occasionally, uh, when you get to the neuter bowed uh, key blanks, uh, you run into that because sometimes, uh, like when I need my, use my nippers, my uh, pack a punch nippers uh sometimes you have to really uh, squeeze that carriage you know to make a cut right otherwise what happens is it uh it, uh, it doesn't uh, there's a, a shoulder on the key blank that sometimes it will not let it work and i have some pops in here one right there this here it'll it'll interfere with the the, the some of the punch machines and so sometimes you got to trim that and so i don't like dealing with that you know you just want your keys to slide in and be smooth as a whistle. And that's kind of how I've always been, you know. I don't know if I can do this. So I'm on a hill and I'm trying to do all this. But that key ought to go in there, slip, and then just smooth as a whistle. It shouldn't have any issue. It shouldn't have to wiggle back and forth. It shouldn't have to have to a catch. I mean, that is perfect. And then I cut that with my code machine. And that was, I just went off the calipers got my cuts right and like i said that's how far off it was with uh using death and space keys and i, I wasted a key granted you know if you had one that was just a little close you know it's like it would work and you 
your, your customer would probably be mad, you know, because you left him a lock that he's got to play with. And I don't like that. I want my locks to work perfect. Anyway, so I just uh, kind of wanted to go over this. You know, depth and space keys, they work. They're great. When they, uh, you got uh, all else was working fine. Let me see if I can put all these pins. And I can't. I'm just going to sit here and drop them. That's the butter of doing this with a, an iPhone. I should have just uh, had everything set up. But, uh, yeah, I run into that, and uh, I just opted to swap out the guy's lock. And I just charged him five bucks more as opposed to a rekey's 15 rekey. He had an, an actual working key, and then uh, he, uh, like I said, that lock was wore uh, to the point to where when I put everything in there like I was supposed to, it just wasn't jiving right. So that's how it should look. That is a perfect shear line right there. Shouldn't feel it, you know. If you have any pins sticking up, sometimes you'll feel it. It is start dragging all the way along there. Uh, this is exactly how it's supposed to work. Anyways, uh, I didn't really mean to drag on. Sorry, uh, it's kind of rough on edited. I just kind of wanted you to see uh, what I was dealing with. Uh, and this key, these two were key alike, so I, I knew if I just got the one going, it was going to match the other one, and it does. So, just want to throw it out there. These depth and space keys, uh, they're good to have, you know. Uh, you just really need to check them, and I did check them with my uh, key gauge, and they they work, you know, in there. But you really gotta you, you really gotta know if they're like uh, three or four thousandths uh, too low or something. You know, if they're pretty sloppy in there, uh, you'll run into that. And I see that definitely with these. You see here, there's a number. Uh, sorry about this. Here's a number. Uh, let's see, number three. And so as you slide that in there, that number three, let's see if I can put that in there. That's number three. It just, it's got some slip to it. Man, there's like no way to hold this. But it almost goes down to the four. If you turn it right, it might. But uh, anyways, I just want to throw it out there. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I still, I'll still use these depth and space keys, but now knowing they're a little low, I'll probably uh, just... Next time I go a size up and be more careful with it. Uh, I'll talk to you all later. Bye bye. That's all, folks.